Once you add forms on ConvertKit, you can use them to capture lead information or ask for feedback from your audience. This allows you to send automated emails to your audience as well. A lot of businesses are using ConvertKit to collect leads and build their email list. By adding ConvertKit forms to your website, you can collect leads and build your email list through the form. Hi guys, this is Jaswan Walia from Team Learn Today. And in this SOP, we will help you to learn how you can add ConvertKit forms to your WordPress website. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so what I've done over here is that I have created a contact me form for all the posts that I'm going to put out. So it's very simple. I've just put contact me. Hi, this is Jasmine Valia. If you have any questions regarding this post, feel free to drop me a message. So it's very clear that if these guys have any queries, you know, they can very easily go ahead and just put their email address, put their first name and put it, put out a query or message for me and it will come to my ConvertKit account or my email address. All right. So now that I've created this form, what I will do is I will first of all, click on save. Of course, now that it's saved, we have to hit on publish. And as soon as we do that, we have to go to WordPress. Right, so there's JavaScript, HTML, share, WordPress, and Unbounce. We have to click on WordPress and now download and install the Word or ConvertKit WordPress plugin, which we have already done in our previous SOP. All you have to do is copy this particular short code, which is given right here. And that's all you have to do in the ConvertKit account as of now. Go back to your WordPress dashboard and find the posts option in your left sidebar. I will click on all posts. Now, of course, this is for a post that has already been written. You have to have some content, right? Otherwise, why will people have queries? This particular post. But if you want, you can uh, add a new post, go ahead, put some content in, and then create different kind of contact forms for different posts as well. So over here, as you can see, I, I already have one post that has content in it. So I'm going to click on edit here. So now it's up to you where you want to put the form, right? Since this is a contact me form, I would prefer it to be just after the whole post, after the whole post is ended. But of course, any other kind of form, if you are creating, it's up to you where you want to put it. So the next thing that we have to do is just put our cursor on where we want to put the form. I want it to be right here. Now, all you have to do is paste the short code that we copied. So I'm going to hit on Command V or Control V and then wait for a second, update. Awesome. So let's preview the changes and see if our form is appearing or not. Click on preview changes from right here. It will take us to our post. Awesome. So I can see that the post is here. And if I scroll down, the contact me form starts to appear. And that's it. We have very, very successfully put a contact me form or any form of your choice on our WordPress posts. You can also put this particular um, form in any of the pages on your WordPress website. For example, let's go to one of the pages that we already have. All right, so I have a contact us page. Of course, I won't be putting this particular um, this particular form on my page because this is meant for post. It's written right here, but I can create another form and put it on my contact us page as well. So let's just assume that this is also one of the forms that I can put on my contact us page and we can go to edit from here. Again, the same process. We just need to paste the short code that we had copied. Oops. All right. So just paste it here, click on update, preview changes. 
and voila, it has come on our page as well. So you can do the same thing for the post and the same thing for the page. You just need to copy and paste the short code of your ConvertKit form. I hope that video was helpful and you have successfully added the ConvertKit form on either a post or a page on your WordPress website. We are going to be coming up with a lot of ConvertKit and WordPress related videos. So stay tuned for that. Go ahead and hit on that subscribe button along with the notification bell icon so that you can get updates on whenever we come up with new videos. This is Jaswin Valia and I will see you in our next SOP.